Hi, I'm Ernestine. And I'm Anissa. And, and you're watching ATV News. Midterms are rolling around, and as most of you guys know, seeing Swagman can mean good luck. So we went around and asked you guys some questions about Swagman. Check out the highlights in this ATV video. Who and what is Swagman? I don't know for sure. I don't know who he is, but I know what he is, and he's a legend. Supposedly, <laughs> if you see him before a midterm, you will ace that midterm. Ooh. This kind of mystical idea of a person is always in a good mood, as I understand it. Guy who apparently walks on or around campus sporting sports swag, as it were. Who's a bigger myth, swag man or Bigfoot? And who do you hold in a higher regard? What if Swagman was Bigfoot? You heard it here first. I haven't seen him in person. Um, I've only heard about him. But he seems to be somewhat of a regular occurrence <laughs> around UCI. I was looking for information on UCI before coming here from a year abroad. And the first two things that I found were UCI Confessions and Swagman before anything else. You heard it here first, people. The man, the myth, the legend, Swagman, and his effects on this campus and the place he holds in everyone's heart. Catch you later. Hey, Ant Eaters, trying to get your life together? Well, come by Ring Road for the TEDx and UC Irvine booth on Wednesday, May 1st, from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. to get a free, that's right, I said it, free passion planner. These planners normally go for 30 bucks a piece, so make sure you guys come by to pick one up for free and to learn about the upcoming UCI TEDx event. Also this year, they're doing things a little different because now you can reserve your passion planner in advance. Check out the Facebook page for more information. Come support the UCI dance community by watching Physical Graffiti. This show is choreographed by UCI's own undergraduate students. The show opens on May 2nd and will run until May 4th. All the shows will be held at the Claire Trevor Theater at 8 p.m. except for the matinee showing which will be on May 4th at 2 p.m. Check out the UCI Today website for more information and to purchase tickets. Attention Anteaters, come out on Saturday, May 4th at 8 p.m. to watch the filming of Pitch Perfect 4. We heard that Travis Scott is going to be making his acapella debut here. Whoa, is he going to be World? Yeah. Really? <laughs> Just kidding, oh. but really, come out to the Irvine Barclay Theater to watch Acala, Southern California's acapella festival. There's going to be award-winning acapella groups from all over Southern California, converging to give you the most incredible show ever. So who needs Pitch Perfect? Am I right? You're right, girl. Again, it'll be held at the Irvine Barclay Theater on Saturday, May 4th at 8 p.m. To find out more information and to purchase tickets, visit the UCI Today website. So I don't know about y'all, but like, I miss Coachella and the vibes. Like, Ariana Grande brought up Justin Bieber, and it was like so great, was it not? I wish I was there, oh my gosh. Um, while we're on the topic of music, a while ago when we went around campus, we asked some of you guys about your opinions on music. Here are some of the highlights. What is a favorite genre of music? Um, probably pop, I'd have to say. Afro beats. You probably don't know them, but it's like Wizkid, oh. Davy Doe, it's African music. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Alternative rock, um, so like um, Alt-J, Glass Animals, that sort of like, maybe like psychedelic rock. But then I also really enjoy, um, if I'm going like out, like clubbing or anything, I'm more listening to like house music and EDM as well. Like indie or like pop music. And I like melodic death metal, uh, I like folk punk. Sometimes electro, but not always. Sometimes pop, if I'm feeling it. So any like special artist or song you like? Uh, I like Nirvana or Cake. Maybe like Fiona Apple, or um, maybe some like Bee Gees. Probably actually Oldies is my favorite, <laughs> now that I think about it. Andrew Jackson Jihad is, is one of my favorites. Uh, Elliot Smith. Troy Swindle. He's like uh, like really kind of like funky, uh, like like has like a bit of soul into his house as well, which is really good. Um, really like Macklemore. For, he's also just like not like usual genre type, but I just really like Macklemore as well. <laughs> that brings us to the end of the Campus Life news segment. If you made this far into the video, first of all, thank you all so much for watching, and second of all, comment down below how you distress during midterm season. If you haven't already, make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel for more ATV content. And don't forget to tap the notification bell right now. That way you get a notification every time we post a new video and you can always stay updated on everything UCI related. And now let's check in with Lars on sports. Go Ant Eaters!
What's going on, everybody? My name is Laj Bussar, covering the sports segment for ATV News. Let's get right into it. Okay, so the UCI baseball team will be finishing off a four-game matchup during week five, capping off a series starting on the road and ending right here in Irvine. The Eaters will, end, will be against Cal State Fullerton on Tuesday, April 30th. The boys have been tearing it up this season, particularly at home, going 15-2 so far. They will then end the week traveling north for a three-game matchup against the University of Iowa. Tuesday's game will start at 6 p.m. at Cicerone Field at Ant Eater Ballpark, located right behind the Brent Event Center. And let's cheer on our Ant Eaters as they continue their great start to the season and wish them safe travels as they look to bring back the W. Moving on to the women's track and field postseason rounds, the women's team will be on the road this weekend as they head up the coast to Santa Barbara to compete in the Big West Multi-Events Tournament. The events will last two weekends beginning on May 3rd and ending the next weekend on May 11th. The women will face off in various types of competitions including high jump, meter rallies, sprints, and hurdles, just to name a couple. This is the beginning of the postseason for the team as they'll continue to go up against numerous schools across the country in both the NCAA Big West preliminaries and the NCAA championship rounds. Best of luck to all the athletes involved as they cruise into the final stretch of their year. Okay, this concludes the sports segment for ATV News. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more weekly campus news, updates on sports, and more cool segments currently in the works. And if you haven't already, tap that notification bell to get a notification every single time we post a new video so you can stay updated on everything UCI. If there's any events that you guys want us to report on, let us know in the comments down below. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you guys next week. All right, guys, you guys made it to the end of the week five edition of ATV News. If you made this far into the video, comment down below what you thought of Coachella. Give us a like. Give us a subscribe. And comment down below. Thank you for watching.